Adding additional outputs are essential for having cross-material compatible SPSR files. So right now I'm working in uh, reference and metallic and uh, I will publish this to demonstrate the issue. So it's important to notice now that I have no outputs for specular or glossiness uh, channels. I will now open two instances of Painter I'll open a, I will uh, start with the metallic and roughness template and I will choose a simple uh, mesh here. And I will apply the material that I exported. As you can see, since I'm working in the roughness and metal material template, I uh, the SPSR file has connected itself to the appropriate channels. I will now choose the specular glossiness template and then accept same mesh and apply the material again. And as you can see, the material is a lot more specular than it should be. It also It's also missing the color channel. As you can see over here, the diffuse has something connected, the specular has something connected, and the glossiness has, no, has nothing connected to it. So if I go back into Designer and I start adding some outputs, I can use a converter, that is a native node within Designer, and I can connect the uh, texture that is uh, connected to the base material output and I can take the same for the roughness and connect it to the roughness input right here and the metallic and if I look at this uh, output here I can rename this to diffuse because that is um, the usage I can add a usage item that is by default set to diffuse and I can connect the diffuse output to this I can duplicate the output and connect the specular and I can actually change the um, material type here so you can see this take effect right now it's really glossy because it, there is nothing connected to the channel itself within um, the signer but uh, let's uh, fix this. We want this to be the specular. So rename all these. And choose the specular usage item. And lastly, connect the glossiness to the output and rename again. So if you double click the graph over here, it will automatically fetch the appropriate usage channels um, and connect it to the appropriate channel. So now as you can see, if I switch between these, the material has the same appearance between the material types. The same will happen if I publish this graph again, and I will have to restart the painter application. And I'll choose the metallic roughness channel again, or template. And for the other, I will choose the specular and glossiness. As you can see in the specular glossiness material, it has now found the appropriate uh, channels to connect it to. So before we were lacking a diffuse channel, we were lacking a specular and gloss, but now it has connected these because we made these outputs and uh, assigned the appropriate usage item to them. So if we compare it 
with the um, roughness and metallic oops that's the wrong texture set you can see now they have the exact same appearance as well 